What's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech. Today in this video, I will be showing part two of my smart mirror build project. This one will be the physical building of the mirror itself with the frame and the acrylic two-way glass. In future videos, I will show more detailed configuration, but in this one, it's just mostly the physical construction. So the first thing I needed to do was figure out the size of the frame that I needed. So I measured the monitor and cut the 1x3s to size. The 1x2s will be used to cover the bezel and the sides of the frames later on. After I had the cuts where I want them, I hit the edges with the quicksand and went ahead and glued them together. After I glued them, I secured them with a finishing nailer for temporary support. I gave it a quick test fit and it was a tight fit, but a good fit. Next I had to figure out how to cut the acrylic. After a few attempts of trial and error, I figured that the best method was to use a sharp new razor blade and score the finished side up a few times and then snap it. So I didn't have a fan for the Raspberry Pi CPU cooler or a special mount to mount a fan to, so instead of waiting for one to be shipped, I'm using an old set of USB fans I had left over from another project. I plugged them into the Raspberry Pi and the fan started up, so that's what I'm going with. So I started using my circular saw to attempt to cut small fan grills, but ended up cutting away the whole corner so it would get some air movement. I did this to the two adjacent corners and called it good enough. Like I said, a CPU cooler fan with a proper mount would be ideal. Next I needed to figure out a way to keep the monitor secured. So I marked the corners with the acrylic flush against the frame and figured out where the monitor needed to be. I decided to use some corners cut from the scrap 1x3 
and some old hardware I had laying around used for shelving. This allows me to remove them if I need to remove the monitor for whatever reason. But of course screws or something else could have done just as well. I then used the 1x2s to create the front of the frame to cover the bezels from the monitor and the edges of the 1x3. Making sure these were perfect was definitely the hardest part. Let's make a run together, I'll be by your side Before we collide And if the sky falls down on you Just beat it up Before we collide Let's make it last forever I'm ready to fly Before we collide And when the sun don't shine on you Just heat it up Before we collide I gave it a test fit with the monitor, acrylic, and frame all in place. And then after everything checked out, I went ahead and glued and nailed it just as I did with the frame. Let's make a run together, I'll be by your side Before we collide And if the sky falls down on you Just beat it up Before we collide, when we collide Let's make it last forever I'm ready to fly Before we collide, when we collide And when the sun don't shine on you Just heat it up Before we collide After wiping away the excess glue, I gave everything a sand, starting with 120 grit sandpaper, then 240 grit, and finally 400 grit by hand. I finished it off with some Minwax Special Walnut Stain. To secure the acrylic to the frame, I ended up just using some aluminum tape I had, well because I put that on everything. But double sided tape would probably work better. And here are the mounts that I made to hold in the monitor. And the fan mounts that I made to add a little bit more airflow to the system. And here's a shot of the rough mock-up of the Raspberry Pi just sitting there. The HDMI to DVI cord wrapping around there and plugging in. And there is the USB fan into the USB port of the Raspberry Pi. And the power from the monitor and the Raspberry Pi plugged in there for now. Now on the display itself it shows the time, weather, my Nest thermostat. 
a complement, and at the bottom we have a action tiles panel which is set up through smart things. Going up the left side we have commute times, calendar, a shot of the earth from NASA, and some holidays coming up. So guys make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next videos coming out that shows you how to configure these types of things into your own. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next couple videos in this series, as well as some of my other videos that will be coming out shortly. Here I'll have some other videos that I recently made, so check those out, and make sure you leave a like down below so I know that you enjoy these types of videos. I will see you in the next one.